Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to express the following number as the sum of odd numbers. First is 5 cube and the, this is 8 cube, right? So, let's start. This is 5 cube, it is equal to 125. Now, we have to show it as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. For that, we will assume let A is equal to 5. Right? And to write down the sum of consecutive odd numbers, we must know which should be the least odd number. To find out the least odd number, we have a formula least odd number. This is equal to A a minus 1 plus 1. A is 5 and this is 5 minus 1 plus 1. 5 multiplied by 4 plus 1. It is equal to 20 plus 1. That is equal to 21. So, the least odd number from where we have to start, it is 21. So, 125, that is equal to 5 cube. The least number, least odd number is 21. And we have to show it as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. So, 21, 23, 25, 27 and 29. You can see the number of odd numbers whose sum these the number of odd numbers whose sum is equal to the cube of this number it is always equal to this number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Right, so number of odd numbers whose sum is equal to a cube, that is always equal to a. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. a is equal to 5. 5 numbers are there. Right, now let's take the, another example. 8 cube. Let a is equal to 8. Now to find out the least odd number. Least odd number. It is equal to a a minus 1 plus 1. That is equal to a that is 8. 8 minus 1 plus 1. This is 8 into 7, 8 minus 1, plus 1. 56 plus 1, that is 57. So the least odd number, it is equal to 57. So 512, that is equal to 8 cube. It will be equal to 57. We will start from 57. This is the least odd number. So 57, 59, 61. We will take 8 numbers, right? As you have seen here, the number of odd numbers will be equal to 8. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 63 plus 65 plus 67 plus 69 plus 71. Hope this is clear to you. Thank you.